eight, seven, six, five, four, commence new start, two, one, zero. Mission. Shepherd has cleared the tower. Beautiful shot. Starting roll program. NS33, we are on our way. 30 seconds. Now flight. you can note on the left hand side of, this, of your screen if you want to follow along, you can. You can note the speed, the altitude, and all of the major milestones coming up here in just a moment. At this point, BE3 is at 100% power level. We are gaining speed and altitude Engine very quickly. Now, despite the cloud Back cover, we are Back tracking New Shepard. Great shot from the rocket looking back down at West Texas. Mach 1, vehicle is supersonic. We've just passed 30,000 feet and we are supersonic. Engine back up to full throttle. We just passed max Q, you heard it there. Engine is back up to full throttle. We are on our way to space. Yeah, the astronauts here are experiencing about three Gs. Passing 50,000 We are just over a minute and a half into flight. Beautiful shot. So you're going to notice we're going to stay on this picture. This is, again, the camera that is on New Shepard, and that is because our cameras on the ground can't quite pierce all the way through the cloud cover that we're experiencing out in West Texas. But again, you can follow along with New Shepard's journey if you take again, a look at our down. telemetry, by, which is on the left-hand side of your screen. Miko we're about to experience and see. Miko, oh, I just heard. Miko confirmed. Stand Main engine separation. cutoff has been confirmed. Separation confirmed. Separation is confirmed. That is amazing. Now you can see on your left hand side, we've got two bar charts now. We've got the left hand side, which is the tracking the booster and the right hand side is now tracking the capsule. That's right. Our astronauts are experiencing about zero G's here. Not about, they are experiencing zero G's, a moment they have been waiting for for quite a long time, exacerbated by about a week, but they are finally headed across that Carmen line. They are. And as you'll know, the booster does have a rotation to it. We intentionally spin the booster and the capsule during flight so the astronauts can get a 360 view. They get to go around a couple times. It's slow and steady, Passing but they get the, the full line. view of everything out their window. That's so great. And these windows, by the way, bigger than a 737. Much bigger. Yeah, <laughs> by like a lot. And we have officially passed the Carmen line. We're still ascending the booster and the capsule. And they reach Apogee at about the exact same time. That is correct. Yep. Yes, they do. We'll see that here in just a moment. Capsule Apogee. And there it is, Apogee, for both the booster and the capsule. They are now both returning to Earth. And what will happen is the booster is going to return first about two miles from where we launched on the launch pad, and it's going to return faster because it's so much more aerodynamic. That's right. Yep, the capsule will re-enter a little Four bit minutes, slower, uh, but flight. that is perfect timing to watch both, both the booster and the capsule land. Yeah, we're just over four minutes and 30 seconds into flight. Again, this is our camera from our booster looking back booster down on West Texas. 
Yep, the booster has descended past 325,000 feet. Our best camera at this moment in time because of that cloud cover out west. Capsule body rates looking good. The astronauts still enjoying that zero G. They're getting their views out the window, taking photos, posing, maybe doing some zero G flips. Who knows? I certainly would. Yeah. I also have to say to this view to me is very calming. The astronauts getting buckled back in shortly. Yeah, but a great shot descent. there from our booster. <laughs> I just got word in my ear that we don't have any audio of our astronauts at this moment in time, but we have heard they're having a great time up there, as I, I certainly would be. <laughs> yeah, booster no. forward fin deploy. No kidding. The booster descending past 150,000 feet. The booster just uh, going, th uh, opening some of its uh, control surfaces to help it uh, navigate back down. Those all work in tandem. Yeah, the ring fin, the wedge fins, the aft fins at the base. Maximum ascent G's. Those G's the astronauts are feeling are pushing them into their seat as they hit that thick atmosphere coming back into Earth. They feel about five Gs for just a moment, and then it settles back to one G very quickly. So they should be cool and comfortable right about now. Yeah. About to go back into the cloud line for our booster. I'm loving this shot from the booster. There we go. Now you can see the desert. And the, lo and the landing pad. <laughs> yeah, that's a great shot of it. <laughs> Here we go. Camera's able, and there's the sonic boom to capture the booster on its descent. Engine relight. Engine Booster descent nominal. And touchdown. We have a beautiful touchdown of the new Shepard booster. Welcome home, NS33 booster. Home, it's Shepherd great booster. to see you there on the landing pad. That is right. And thank you for providing, by the way, such a great shot of the entire flight. It is great. And it, it almost looks like it's dead on center, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the target. Now we will stand by to, to take a look at the capsule here in just capsule. a minute. But as we wait, the, the booster is going through its uh, auto safing process, which happens immediately upon landing. Now that is to get the booster ready for our ground crew to come and uh, pick her up in a little bit and take her back home. Stand by drill. As we see, the capsule has uh, come through the clouds in a moment. Oh my goodness, what a shot. A great shot, yeah. We capsule should be seeing the drogues here shortly. Concern. There they are. And the parachutes just after that. Now the capsule is descending, of course, slower than the booster because of its shape, that like teardrop shape. And there go the parachutes, capsule essential in providing that Climate gentle concern. touchdown for the capsule. And it also has a retro thrust system at the base of the capsule, something you'll want to watch out for, which will make that final touchdown even smoother. Beautiful, beautiful reefed parachutes here. What a gorgeous sight to see. Blue skies all of a sudden. I know. <laughs> Incredible. The weather changes so drastically in Texas. Amazing, amazing shot here of the capsule as it descends smoothly back Absolutely. down to earth. You know, Alice, we have a saying in Texas, if you don't like the weather, just wait an hour. And in this moment, our astronauts are soaking up those Capsule final moments with their crew before they're back here on Earth. And right now, that capsule is slowing down to just a couple of miles per hour. TDS enabled. Yeah, those parachutes take all the energy out. We're at 17 miles an hour, and then we'll go, go down to one, two with the retro thrust system. Look at that beautiful landing site for the capsule. 
Oh, yeah. Looks like it's going to be close to one of the roads, which is nice. Easy to get out there. There's a great shot, actually, of our crew recovery system. Yeah, they're on their way. They're looking at the parachutes. That's cool. You can see that from inside. What a cool shot of the booster and the capsule in one shot. That really just shows you how, you know, New Shepard is so reusable and, you know, just an incredible vehicle. And touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown. confirmed. Congratulations. Welcome home, New Shepard 33, Solstice 33. What an incredible flight today.